have you ever wondered if planets could exist at the very centre of our galaxy? This is the galactic centre conundrum, a question that tantalises the minds of scientists and stargazers alike. The very heart of our galaxy is a place of extremes. Here, the gravitational forces are monstrous and the radiation is blindingly intense. It's a cosmic crucible where the ordinary laws of physics are twisted and torn. Prevailing theories suggest that this turbulent region is dominated by a supermassive black hole, a celestial beast that devours anything straying too close. The harsh conditions make the existence of planets as we know them highly unlikely. Yet, the universe never ceases to surprise us, and science always seeks out the unexpected. So, the prospect of planets at our galaxy's heart seems dim, but why? Let's plunge into the cosmic darkness of black holes. Black holes, the devourers of light and time, what secrets do they hold? Born from the remnants of dying stars, black holes are a cosmic paradox, both fascinating and terrifying. When a star, considerably larger than our Sun, exhausts its nuclear fuel, it collapses under its own gravity. This implosion results in a supernova, a stellar explosion that briefly outshines an entire galaxy, scattering star remnants into space. Yet, at the heart of this violent spectacle, a black hole is born. Black holes are not just holes in space, but rather objects with an enormous amount of matter packed densely into a small area. Picture a star ten times more massive than the Sun, squeezed into a sphere approximately the diameter of a city. The resulting gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape it. At the core of a black hole, we find the singularity, a one-dimensional point where gravity becomes infinite and space-time curves infinitely, and where the laws of physics as we know them cease to operate. Surrounding the singularity is the event horizon, a boundary in space-time beyond which events cannot affect an outside observer. In layman's terms, it's the point of no return. Anything that crosses the event horizon, be it a wandering star, a beam of light, or a rogue spaceship, is swallowed forever. But black holes are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners. They are active and often violent participants in the universe. They can spin, collide, and even emit vast jets of matter and energy. These phenomena play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies and the production of the elements necessary for life as we know it. Black holes, then, are not just voids but rather cosmic beasts that can rip apart even the very fabric of space and time. They're reminders of the immense forces that shape the universe and the enduring mysteries that were yet to unravel. Black holes are not just solitary cosmic phenomena. They are, in fact, the galactic predators. These cosmic leviathans particularly the supermassive ones, are often found nestled at the very heart of galaxies. It's as if they are the grand conductors of a celestial orchestra dictating the rhythm and harmony of their galactic ensemble. Their immense gravitational pull shapes the galaxy, drawing in stars and gas and setting them in motion. They churn the cosmic soup, triggering star birth and sometimes their violent death. And yet, they are also the architects of order, maintaining the structure and stability of their galactic habitat, keeping stars in their orbits and preventing them from flying off into the vastness of space. Imagine a cosmic dance where everything revolves around these gravitational titans, a ballet of celestial bodies orchestrated by these galactic predators. With a supermassive black hole at its centre, our galaxy might seem like a hostile place for planets, but is it really? In the cosmic dance of gravity, can planets pirouette around black holes? Now that's a question that stirs up quite the mental image. Picture our planet Earth, not orbiting the familiar warmth of the Sun, but instead engaged in a celestial waltz with a black hole. A daring dance, to say the least. Just as planets orbit around stars, they could theoretically orbit black holes too. It's all a matter of gravitational pull. But what about life? Could it exist in such a harsh environment? This brings us to the concept of the habitable zone, the Goldilocks zone of not too hot, not too cold, where conditions might be just right for life as we know it. In the vicinity of a black hole, this zone could theoretically exist. Yet the intense radiation and gravitational forces would certainly make it a challenging place for life to survive. So, while life as we know it might not thrive near a black hole, the possibility of some form of existence cannot be entirely ruled out. 
The center of our galaxy is a place of extremes. Can anything survive there? Imagine a neighborhood that's constantly bathed in the most intense radiation, a place where gravitational forces are so strong they could rip apart anything that dares to venture too close. This isn't the plot of a science fiction novel, but rather a description of the conditions at the very heart of our galaxy. At the galactic center, stars jostle and swing around each other in a high-speed cosmic dance, their movements dictated by the immense gravitational pull of a supermassive black hole. This black hole, millions of times the mass of our sun, lurks in the shadows, its presence only betrayed by the frenzied motion of the stars around it. The radiation in this region is incredibly intense. X-rays and gamma rays, far more energetic than the visible light our eyes are accustomed to, fill the space around the black hole. These are not the gentle rays of our sun, but rather high-energy particles that can strip atoms of their electrons and break apart molecules. Then there's the gravitational force. It's not just strong, it's extreme. Around a black hole, gravity is so powerful that it distorts space and time. This isn't just a hostile environment, it's a place where the very fabric of reality gets twisted and torn. Given these conditions, the odds of finding a planet in this chaotic and hostile environment seem slim. Planets, as we understand them, are delicate structures. They require stable orbits around stable stars. And the galactic center, with its intense radiation, violent gravitational forces and lurking black hole, is anything but stable. In this celestial maelstrom, it's unlikely that a planet could form, let alone survive. The forces at play would either prevent a planet from forming in the first place, or rip it apart if it did. The heart of our galaxy, then, remains a place of mystery and extremes, largely inhospitable to planets and life as we know it. Despite the odds, the quest to understand our galaxy's heart continues. What does the future hold? As we move forward in time, our curiosity propels us deeper into the cosmic abyss. The next generation of space missions, armed with cutting-edge technology, are poised to shed light on the enigmatic core of our galaxy. Take, for instance, the upcoming missions that will venture closer to the galactic center than ever before. These daring endeavors aim to capture high-resolution images of the region surrounding the black hole, potentially revealing new insights into the behavior of these cosmic behemoths. On the horizon, we also have missions equipped with sophisticated detectors designed to pick up gravitational waves, subtle ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by the most violent cosmic events. By observing these waves, we could piece together a more comprehensive understanding of the black hole's gravitational pull and its effects on the surrounding galaxy. And let's not forget the future telescopes set to launch into space, engineered to observe elusive phenomena such as dark matter and dark energy. These missions could fundamentally change our understanding of the universe and its composition. As we stand on the cusp of these exciting ventures, we're reminded of the importance of galactic exploration. It's through these missions that we'll inch closer to unravelling the mysteries cloaked within our galaxy's core. As we continue to probe the depths of our galaxy, who knows what surprising discoveries await us. So, do planets exist at the centre of our galaxy? In the course of our cosmic journey, we've delved into the nature of black holes, those colossal galactic predators, and the ballet of gravitational forces they command. We've explored the harsh, hostile environment at the heart of our galaxy, and pondered the future of galactic exploration as we reach further into the unknown. We've grappled with the galactic center conundrum, the question of whether planets could exist in such a tumultuous, unpredictable realm. The conditions are extreme, to say the least. The gravitational forces are immense, the radiation is intense, and the cosmic winds are devastatingly powerful. In this environment, the formation and survival of planets seem unlikely. Yet, we've also learned that the universe often defies our expectations. Its vastness holds countless mysteries and infinite possibilities. While the hostile conditions at the galactic center make the existence of planets there unlikely, we cannot rule out the potential for surprising discoveries as our exploration of this region continues. The quest for knowledge is a journey, not a destination. 
As we push the boundaries of our understanding, we continually encounter new questions, challenges and wonders. The center of our galaxy is just one of the many frontiers we are striving to understand. In the vast cosmic darkness, our understanding remains a flicker of light, always seeking to illuminate the mysteries of the universe. The first thing you'd encounter on your journey into a black hole is a threshold known as the event horizon. It's a boundary in space-time beyond which events cannot affect an outside observer. In simpler terms, it's the point of no return. Once you cross the event horizon, there's no turning back, no matter how powerful your spaceship's engines are. But what happens inside the black hole? Let's talk about spaghettification. Yes, you heard it right, it's a technical term, and it's as bizarre as it sounds. As you descend deeper into the black hole, the gravitational pull becomes increasingly intense. The difference in gravity between your head and your feet would become so vast that you would be stretched out into a long, thin shape, much like, you guessed it, a strand of spaghetti. This process of extreme stretching due to the immense gravitational pull is what scientists call spaghettification. But that's not all. When you approach a black hole, you would also experience a strange phenomenon known as time dilation. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. This means that as you get closer to the black hole, time would appear to slow down for you relative to the rest of the universe. So, while you're being stretched into a noodle, the universe outside would seem to be fast-forwarding at an incredible rate. So, to sum up, if you were to take a trip into a black hole, you'd be stretched out into a strand of spaghetti due to the extreme gravitational forces. At the same time, time would slow down for you, making the rest of the universe seem to speed up. This combination of effects makes survival impossible. In a black hole, you'd be stretched, squashed, and time would play tricks on you. Not exactly a vacation destination, is it? But what if we told you that the danger does not end there? No, indeed, the menace of black holes extends far beyond the mere curiosity of intrepid space explorers. These cosmic beasts pose a significant threat not only to our humble planet Earth, but to the universe at large. Consider for a moment the unimaginable power of a black hole. It's a celestial entity so strong that it pulls in everything that ventures too close, be it a stray asteroid, a wandering star, or even an entire galaxy. Nothing, not even light itself, can escape its insatiable grasp. Imagine a rogue black hole wandering aimlessly through the cosmos, its path unpredictable, its intentions unknown. What if one day such a black hole drifted into our solar system? The gravitational force of a black hole is so immense that it could easily disrupt the orbits of planets, pulling them in like a moth to a flame. The sun, our life-giving star, could be swallowed whole plunging our world into eternal darkness. Even from a distance, a black hole could wreak havoc. Its powerful gravity could pull on the Earth, causing catastrophic tidal forces that would result in enormous tsunamis and earthquakes. The climate would be thrown into chaos and life as we know it would cease to exist. But it's not just our planet that's at risk. Black holes have the potential to consume entire galaxies. They sit at the centers of many galaxies, including our own Milky Way, growing larger and larger as they feed on the stars around them. In a hypothetical scenario, if a black hole were to grow large enough, it could potentially consume the entire universe. A universe devoid of stars, planets and life. A universe that is nothing but a vast, empty black hole. These are the dangers lurking in the dark. The potential threats that black holes pose are as vast as the universe itself. They are the wild cards of the cosmos, unpredictable and unfathomable. Black holes, with their bottomless appetites, are not just a danger to curious space travelers, but to all life as we know it.